Hey Virgo, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Uh, any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have personals open right now, and you guys could also check me out on Patreon if you like. Let's go ahead and get... Okay. Um, I'm going to take that one that flipped, but we are getting started here. Also, Virgo, I do not read in a straight line, so if the message... I'm going over a lot here, actually. This is going to be an element reading that I'm trying out, so let me know what you think. Um, I'm not reading in a straight line though, so if the message isn't resonating, feel free to stick around or skip around. You may find something that does, okay? I feel like you're very much stuck in your head at this point in time, okay? You're feeling really limited or restricted in what it is that you can do or what it is that you can say for some of you. Um, some of you, this could all be involving, um, like... It's in the way that you want to expand here, Virgo. That's how that feels to me. It's in the way that you want to expand. You feel like you can't uh, speak on certain things or maybe feel certain things. But it is, it's in the way that you want to expand. It has something to do um, with what you want long term. You have the Eight of Cups right here. Somebody could have Saturn in Pisces or Jupiter in Gemini. But showing up for your thoughts, you have the uh, Eight of Swords. This is somebody who's feeling really trapped, abandoned, stuck. But the good news is, is that when this card shows up, it's all in her head, okay? Now, I know that that, that can be offensive to some, but um, this could even be saying that, you know, it's not... It's not as bad as you think that it is. Or this could be saying that you are just... Maybe it is as bad as you think that it is. It's exactly as bad as you think that it is, but... You're not seeing yourself for, for all that you are, okay? So there's something that there's something significant about that that you need to recognize here, okay? You got the Eight of Cups showing up for communication. So some of you are having to, um, you know, express that you're, that you're leaving a situation here. Or somebody could be expressing that to you. Um, but this is showing up right here in regards to your thoughts and communication. And we're going to be clarifying that to see what's going on with it, okay? But I think that for a lot of you, you're realizing that, um, you know, this isn't going to cut it long term. I don't want to do this long term. There's something else that I want out there. So that could be why you're leaving a situation. We're going to be looking at it here in a minute. What's going on here with Earth Energy? It's going to need to ground here. What's going on with this? Page of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A connection has started for some of you. It could be with a uh, water sign here. Got the Ten of Pentacles showing up. So money's looking good. Um, money's looking good or you guys are getting an opportunity um, to, to gain a lot financially speaking, okay? Um, or to build a future here. But in, in terms of what you need to ground in reality here, you have the Page of Cups. Some of you, um, there, again, there's a new connection here. Um, it, it feels very new, but there's, there's something about it that is... Um, I don't really want to call it slow moving. It just seems as if there's not a whole lot happening with it at this point in time. It's like the emotions are there, but there's no... It's not necessarily that it has to physically happen. It's just that it's not being talked about. You know, where it's going is not being talked about at all, okay? So there's something about that that needs to happen here. It, again, it could be with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but that's something that needs grounded in reality for some of you. For others of you, um, this is going to be a dream or a vision that you have here, something you want to work on. Others of you, you could be in a space where you're very impressionable, this week so you do want to uh, keep that in mind okay or keep that under control is what I should say here uh, but in terms of your stability things look great you know home situation things look great here Virgo what else is going on okay I like that showing up for emotions you're gonna be feeling very um you're going to be feeling yourself, okay? Uh, you have the six of wands here, Jupiter and Leo. So you could be getting a lot of attention, okay? A lot of support. You're going to be feeling very supported, okay? Feeling very supported, feeling celebrated for something here. You got the world card showing up. You could have completed something here. Or your intuition is telling you, hey, it's it's time to move on to the next chapter. Um, it could have all a fixed sign for those of you where this is a love situation, of course. But your intuition is telling you that you, you've achieved something here. You're feeling very victorious. You're feeling very accomplished in a situation. So I like that for you all. Again, we're going to be clarifying with the runes to see uh, what's going on exactly. But how about creation and destruction? What's going on with their fire energy here for Virgo? But you are going to be receiving a lot of attention. She's in the center of this wreath here. Um, very supportive. Good. Um, the hair font. 
Now this here is something I think that you should be watching out for because in regards to what you're creating, you have the hair font here. This can be like a very um, like structured way of thinking, which is not horrible, but sometimes that can limit us. That's showing up to what you're for what you're creating. And in terms of destruction, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So in doing that, you, you could be closing yourself off to new opportunities, to new paths. The aces represent potential. You could be, um, you know, not living up to that because you're, you're closing yourself off. You have one way of thinking, one way of being, one way of doing things. So they could be telling you to take a second look at that this week because there could be an opportunity that's trying to come in here. Um, so what's going on? And you're, and you're shutting yourself off to it uh, for safety. All right. How about that Eight of Swords? Okay. Um, we're getting this rune here that represents the tree of life, all right? Um, so I feel like there's really a need to come out of that, um, because when you, when you look at the Eight of Swords, it, it truly is a, a card of a mental prison, you know, because the swords represent the mind, they represent the intellect, but also this is the card that comes right after the Seven of Swords, right after somebody is... Um, stolen from. They're, they're tied up, abandoned, and you know that person is no longer here. The person who put her in this situation is no longer here. So who is still suffering from it? You are, okay? You're still suffering from it. That person, they're, they're long gone, right? So I think that, you know, there's really a need to realize that in holding on to this or, you know, thinking about it over and over again here, Virgo, it's not serving anyone, all right? It's not hurting this person. It's not serving you. So, you know, that's something that needs to be recognized here as well. So you can close that out and start something new, okay? Invest in something new here. Yeah, and some of you, you're stuck in your head because there's something that you don't know. There's, um, you know, because this can be the rune of hidden things, right? Maybe you didn't get closure in a situation. That's what's keeping you stuck. So you're running down this mental list of what you said or did wrong or um, why the reason could have been for something to turn out the way that it did. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, you don't have those answers. So you have to focus on what it is that you do have. So I see you turning your back on that. Um, with the Eight of Cups. What's going on with the Eight of Cups? You got Urus, which is a rune of strength, endurance, survival, a gateway. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're going to be separating yourself from uh, that energy right there, okay? By that energy, I mean that Eight of Swords just being real stuck in your head. He's moving away from the water there. That's not to say that you're not going to feel these emotions. I definitely feel that you are. But at the same time, he's on land. He's up on land. So uh, you are going to come back down to reality here. You're going to be able to observe those without, you know, drowning in them or staying stuck. Uh, but I feel like that's going to be a tough energy to move out of this week for you guys. Just wondering why something happened or just, you know, wanting answers in general. So, uh, Page of Cups, we have Hagalaz here, which is a rune of destruction. That's something that you want to watch out for here. Um... It's almost like you guys are in this space. Like, I'm seeing a little bit of a theme here of, um... You know, destroying potential for safety. I don't know what that's about, but for comfort. For, uh, something that's familiar or something that seems like a well-beaten path, right? That's the energy that I feel here, Okay. Others of you, I think that it could be a little bit destructive to the potential of a connection for the two of you to not talk about where it's going. So that's something that needs to happen here as well. Um, is there's a connection where um, you're not talking about where it's going. It's not necessarily that it has to be, you know, there right now. It's just that you need to know that you want the same things, all right? Others of you, it's a little bit destructive, um how receptive you are this week, okay? Uh, how receptive you are to other emotions, other energies that are moving in here. So just be mindful of that, you know, just not taking on uh, things as your own. Like you're in a very impressionable energy for some reason. I don't know why that is. You could be in a new situation that you're not as comfortable with as others around you. Like you could be starting a new job, for example. But there's something here where you might be in a space where you're trying to fit the mold a little bit. So they want you to kind of break out of that, okay? Um... You've got uh, the rune of self-reliance here showing up for your stability. So, absolutely. I feel like money and work looks really good. How about uh, the six of wands? Okay, you have this rune of leadership, authority, justice. So, that's showing up for your emotions here. Um, you've taken action on something here. And I think that you're being rewarded. You're being celebrated. Some of you, you could be receiving a promotion. That could be why the ten of pentacles is here, okay? Or receiving a job, a new position of some sort. Some of you could have a Libra or a fire sign um, who has their eye on you here, but I feel like you're getting a lot of recognition in the world. Um, 
Yeah, and I feel like you're, you're cleansing your space of something here. And I feel like intuitively you've been told to do this for a long time. Others of you, um, you know, I feel like there is some kind of confirmation coming in here. This could be signs, symbols, synchronicities. You're seeing something that's telling you, hey, you did it. Hey, good job. Hey, you completed this. So that's something that's coming in here for some. For others, they're telling you to close something out. They're telling you to end something. It could be this energy up here that's keeping you confused. It's keeping you mentally stuck. How about the hair font? What's going on with this for their creations? Some of you could be a little bit too caught up on like the twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart kind of thing here. We've got the rune of divine union manifestation and it's showing up over top of the hair font. So some of you could be blocking out uh, true love here um, due to a label, you know, in the name of like, this is my twin flame, this is my soulmate, even if they are, you know, treating me like crap, even if they're putting me in, the, in this eight of swords space, even if they're walking away from me, you know, that's something that they're wanting you to move out of here because you've got all G's right here, divine protection, okay? Um, so yeah, this new path, you know, it is, it is specifically for you, you know, so there really is a need to ask yourself, hey, what if I'm wrong? What if that's not the right person and I'm just committing myself to it anyway, committing myself to this torture, this misery, right? Yeah, you have Gabo here, so there's definitely a new path here opening up for you, Virgo, and it is a gift, okay? It is the finally guided. You have the Rune of God, ancestors here. You could be meeting this person through work. That could be a clue for some of you, or through school, okay? Uh, but in regards to what you're creating here, I feel like you're creating this box and you're shutting people out. You're shutting experiences out uh, that you're, you're meant to experience here, absolutely. So I feel like with this hair font here, it's either going to come down with the tower later on, or you're just going to realize, hey, I can't live in this box. I can't live in this comfort zone. I can't live in this familiar space um, because what's familiar here is not necessarily what's making you happy. I feel like it's putting you in a really painful energy. So that's something that's important to note as well, um, you know, to move on this Ace of Pentacles, to move on this new offer, this new path. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. I hope that it was helpful. Feel free to watch out for your other signs, but if this is where we part, um, you guys are more than welcome to book a personal as well. Again, if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your week. Bye.